what is going on guys it is your lovely pilot fly stew in the building guys back with another video today we are talking about the fastest way to gain slp and now recently i've onboarded three scholars and everyone wants to know what is the fastest way to gain anal slp how should they structure their first two weeks so this video will go over that guys if you like these videos and you want more oh just made, did some weird stuff make sure you like comment and subscribe because we can do videos like this all the time you just got to tell me what you want to see and of course subscribing helps the youtube algorithm so the first thing that i would say when you're starting out the game and you just want to know okay what should i focus on in the first weeks what should I really go for? How do I get my scholar or my SLP to that next level? Let's select the team here. Um, what you wanna do in your first two weeks, number one is really focus on adventure mode. Um, that's because the way the game works is when you first start and you have three axes, you'll probably only have 20 energy as it's shown up here and you need energy to get experience points. Now literally just because um your energy is finished though doesn't mean you can't still earn slp you can read slp when this hits zero but you can't gain experience after so how do you use that as your advantage so once your energy is done you probably want to focus on just gaining slp so when you have energy remember you only gain experience points when you win so let's go through a level here this is level one so when you have your slp you probably or sorry when you have your energy you only want to do levels that you know you're going to win for sure and let's just take this guy out quick wait does he survive this oh my god level one guys are so weak <laughs> i did not think he was going to survive that I can't remember the last time I was at level one in my life. Oh, wow. All right. So typically when you're doing a team, right, your PVE lineup might look a bit different than your actual PVP lineup, right? And normally there's some teams that like they'll put their up oh, look at him attacking me so let's just get rid of these guys normally you want your guy that has the most attack damage at the back and he's gonna be basically your closer the guy that gets it done and typically that guy looks like your beast your beast is the guy that does the most damage he has all attack cards and you get the job done but here i have a hair bird that kind of mimics the same thing now what's great about the beast is he has such high morale which means he's gonna go in last stand a lot of times in the back and get you those ones games that you shouldn't be winning so right there we win our first game feels nice and now remember once you are able to do your daily quest and you should always do your daily quest every day um, once you're able to finish it you can claim 25 extra SLP by just clicking here right and that way you can guarantee yourself a minimum of 75 SLP as long as you're doing the work. Now, remember the key to adventure mode is not necessarily trying to keep going up until the end. It's when you have your energy, you wanna focus it on the matches you can win, right? Right here, it tells you how much beasts you're gonna play in each level. So here's three here, here's six here. And there's some levels that are just naturally easier than others. So it tells you the main monsters you're gonna fight against here. So here's a stone guy, here's this guy which is pretty strong. But here's a level that doesn't have a stone guy. So this level and this level, even though it has a stone guy, are relatively really easy levels to farm, especially in the beginning of the game. Um, and typically, you want to, once your energy is done, that's when you start doing the levels that maybe you have a bit a bit more challenging, maybe it's a bit harder to go. But let's go through another level and see if my team can fight against people who have not one set of them, two set of them. Now I'm cheating a little because my back guy's at level nine, um, but sometimes that's a good way to level your other guys up. Reynolds says, yeah, just like the beast. Um, so typically, I 
don't know if this is enough damage to kill him. So typically, it's always better if you have the option to kill the first guy, or sorry, eliminate him, make him go to bed, make him go to sleep, if you can, versus just leaving him there to save up cards. That's because the first guy will do a lot of damage to your first guy, so it's really a kill or be killed situation. So look at all that damage they do, but I think we can, st we're still in a good spot to really get these guys done. And the great thing about adventure mode, it's a bit more relaxed, a bit more chill, a bit more easy going than your normal mo game mode, like your PVP. All right, so we're gonna do hair dagger and then we're gonna do double nutcracker and I think that's a good night for him. Now notice what's different here is every round you get three energy. We're normally in the other game, you get two energy. And when you go between rounds, now you have six cards, no matter what your cards are at the beginning. Julia says something to note is after the first round, the mobs only use three cards per turn. Yes, yes, that is a huge thing to note there. Um, remember to actually look at their cards to make sure they don't have any defense. So he doesn't have defense, which means that should be a good night for him. And then if we're lucky, this will get rid of him, but probably not because that guy's a beast. So notice how it says 192, but it does 224, and that's because those were bird cards I used. Bird cards, not only do they get extra damage because of, um, I'm using two cards at once, but I get extra damage because it's a bird using bird cards. So I get a 10% bonus multiplier. Pretty nice stuff. Now, one of the things that you probably want to do when you're playing this game is and as my guy survives. And this is why the beast is so good here. Um, so he has no cards that do no damage. No damage cards take a tick off even when they don't hit you and make this guy threat. But let's just get this guy out of here. And that's a job well done. Now I could have left my guy alive here, but I know I had enough damage to get rid of him. And that's a job well done here. Some of the people put th their all axes in midline. Yes, guys, notice that the formation I'm using is very important. Um, and we'll go to this level and we'll show you why it's very important. So right here, these guys both being in the top line means that they are guaranteed to attack the same person. So whether his first guy was here or his first guy was here, these guys would both attack the same person. Now this guy here has a 50-50 chance of attacking either one, which is a decent strategy for the opponents because that way, if this guy's a high attack damage guy, he can't team up on this guy with these guys here. He has a 50% chance of hitting this guy. So what we're gonna do is we read the cards. Remember, I get a 20% or 10% bonus here. Here, I don't because it's a beast card, but I get a bit of bonus because I'm playing it um, in sequence with another card and we're gonna D up our first guy here So I didn't check but look at this he has defense so he actually survives this nope I lied he doesn't survive come on it's flight crew So we're gonna get energy here And notice how much energy I get this round I get three extra energy. Now remember, normally in the normal game, you only get two extra energy, but here you get three because it's adventure mode. Okay, so, again, it's always better to kill this or eliminate this guy <laughs> if you can. Remember, he has defense here. Um, he hasn't done any damage to me, interestingly enough. And that should be a good night for him. We're gonna D up a bit. And remember, we have two sets of bad guys to go through. So we get him gone here. And that way we have our defense and look at this. Big hit one, big hit two, it has our damage bonus. And now we get to steamroll through this guy. So 
saving energy between rounds. Um, I think you get, what is it? Is it four extra energy? I can't remember. Or maybe it's only three extra energy. So saving energy, you know, is definitely a bit good here. But realistically, the only time you're ever going to be energy strapped is the first match. Now, luckily, I have a level nine guy. So these guys are really easy for me. But we're going to get rid of that guy. In my books, it's always better to get rid of these guys um, if you have the opportunity. And right there, we just steamroll through these guys. Look at this. Have you ever seen someone use triple nutcracker? One hit. Two hits. Three hits. And there it is. He gets no damage on me. Super high morale, 64. We're basically guaranteed damage. Now we're just going to bulk up here because we can't get rid of him. He goes for the heal. That's fine. Double heal. That's super fine. <laughs> and now, oh, can you believe it? We're about to win with three guys alive. This might be a flight crew first, a flight crew miracle. And it's a good night for him. No one can survive that. This is the LeBron combo. One hit, headshot, headshot. Send that boy to the Shadow Realm, guys. And that's really all it's about, putting your heaviest guy in there, making sure you have the right lineup. Maybe make sure your heavy hitter's at the back, the guy with your most attack damage, making sure you have the right lineup. And look, we get some juicy SLP there, guys. And that's really the secret. So you're gonna grind probably at Adventure Mode for your first two weeks of the game, right? And that's because once your guys are at high enough levels here, you can finish and get your 50 SLP rather quickly because you'll be doing runes up here rather than the runes up here. And of course, when you're up here, some of them are like four to nine SLP each ones. So you can finish adventure mode in the first 30 minutes. And after you use all your 20 energy on adventure mode, um, after two weeks, then you can really focus on arena. Now, when do you play arena and win these five matches? You probably want to use your five matches after all your energy is done. Um, even though you can gain energy from arena mode, it takes a lot of the pressure off playing arena matches when you know SLP is not on the line. So that's what I'd probably recommend. Ease yourself into the game, ease yourself into learning your team. And then two weeks or a week go by, then maybe start playing arena matches for some SLP. Um, but that's a great video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I think we should do more of these, like how to gain SLP fast. Because by the time your guys are level 18 and they're in adventure mode here, it's going to be the opposite. Like you're going to be playing all your energy in arena. And then after you're done, you're going to come in adventure mode, knock out like six games and get all your energy and then come back here and get your SLP. But I think that's it for the video, guys. As always, it's been your lovely pilot at Fly Stewie. Make sure to like and comment because that's how we grow. But we got to get out of here. Peace.